Learning is a never-ending process. Whether you're a student, a professional who wants to deepen your knowledge, or simply someone who likes learning new things, we all want to learn something, and doing it the right way can only make things easier. Hi, the Lonely Bookenie here. In this video, we're discussing the basics of learning, a few strategies to optimize the process, and how to get most out of our sleep to learn better. Ideas inspired by the book, How We Learn, by Benedict Carey. Let's go quickly over how our brain works when we're learning and forming new memories. Memories are created through the process of neurons connecting to each other. Newer memories, once consolidated, appears to reside in the hippocampus for a while. But as more memories are formed, the neurons that represent a specific memory migrate further into the cortex. As a result, memories are stored throughout the brain. Okay, enough of this. You and I clearly know that all you want is some quick strategies to improve your learning. So, let's not wait any longer! Varying our study routine You might have heard that we should dedicate a time and space, but in fact, studies have shown that most people do better over time by varying their practice hour and study location. Because by doing so, our knowledge is less dependent of the time and place, and we allow our brain to perform outside our comfort zone. To take advantage of this context learning, we can also do it by changing the method we learn with. For example, we can write instead of typing on our computer, or recite concepts in front of the mirror instead of just recalling in our brain. Plan your studies in many one-hour sessions. And if you have to study longer, after each hour, take a 5, 10, or even 20 minutes break. So, splitting your study session force your brain to dig up material you already know and restore it. Science has proven that study the same subject right after doesn't improve your memory, but if you do it a day or a few hours later, it does. And breaks. They are really effective when trying to solve a problem. They help loosen up the brain, and when we come back, we're able to see things differently. Avoid choking exam by mixing and matching many problems to avoid the illusion of understanding. Choking is often due to passive studying, like rereading notes, rewriting notes, or working from teacher's note. It makes us believe that we get the subject, when in fact, we don't. For technical courses such as math, physics, or chemistry, mixing problem sets by adding problems from previous lessons not only reminds us of what we have learned, but also help us match the problem type with the appropriate solving process. As said previously, avoid passive study by using flashcards, recalling concepts, explaining ideas to a friend, quizzing ourselves, or working in team. These techniques are effective for a class that requires memorizing facts. It works our memory harder and also shows us exactly what we don't know and need to review. Finally, needless to say, to improve learning, we should sleep between 7 and 8 hours whenever we can. To be honest, sleeping is more complicated than it seems. Our optimal sleeping time is from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. and there are four different stages that each serves a purpose. But that's why it leads us to a secret tip. Let's be clear, cramming our study should be our last resort and if we must, we should try to do it only for classes that are outside our area of focus, since most information will be forgotten after the exam. So, for an exam that is heavier on facts, we should study as much as possible and sleep early, since our brain will need that deep sleep to form and consolidate new memories. Then, wake up early to revise everything one last time. But if we prepare ourselves for a course like economics or physics, it's not too bad to stay up later and sleep in since creative thinking requires rapid eye movement, which happen mostly during the early morning hours. Mm hmm, really interesting. No wonder, I don't remember anything about my university years. Let's recap. Cramming is not a solution. Instead, try to vary your study routine by changing environment or study technique. Then, try to plan your study in many one-hour sessions. For creative projects, Never do everything in one day. Give yourself permission to walk away and come back the next day. And to study for an exam, make sure to use active study techniques to avoid the illusion of understanding. The Verdict It's a good book. Although it's heavier and filled with lots of well-known and applied research, this book has provided some good insight which made it worth reading. As always, if you liked the video, please subscribe and share for more ideas every week, and I hope I brought you one step closer to a brighter self.